underwater hunt for MH370 ends without a trace. Loggers lose bid to dismantle Orang Asli blockade. Hi, I'm Sohaila Saifuddin with Kappa News. Despite every effort using the best science available, cutting-edge technology, as well as modelling and advice from highly skilled professionals, the deep-sea search for MH370 has been suspended without any trace being found of the Malaysia Airlines plane that vanished in 2014 with 239 people on board. So I would like to uh, confirm uh, that the vessel will leave the search area by today. So that means uh, they have completed the 120,000 search area and we uh, need to suspend the search until further credible uh, evidence. We leave it to the expert group to continue to study the situation and wait for the, wait for the expert views. Uh. The Transport Minister added that family members of MH370 passengers have been informed about the matter. Malaysia, Australia and China had agreed in July to suspend the $145 million search if the plane was not found or if no new evidence was uncovered once the 120,000 square kilometre area had been checked. Australia also dismissed an investigator's recommendation to shift the search further north, saying that no new evidence had emerged to support that. The only confirmed traces of the plane have been three pieces of debris found washed up on Mauritius, the French island Reunion and an island off the coast of Tanzania. The engineering group leading the search, Fugro, had raised the prospect someone could have glided the aircraft outside of the defined search zone to explain why it has not been found. Meanwhile, Next of Kin Association, Voice 370 said, it was dismayed with the suspension and investigators should not leave the matter unsolved. In an exclusive interview with the Star TV, spokesperson Grace Subathirai Nathan, whose mother was on board the ill-fated plane, expressed her frustration over the decision. All of us family members were quite appalled by the decision. We don't agree with it. We think that the search should continue. We obviously want them to reverse their decision. We want them to continue searching. They have not said that funding is a concern, but if funding were a concern, we hope that they would source funding from other nations. If it is not funding, then we don't know what the reason is that they don't want to continue plane. We, we acknowledge that we may never find the plane, but we think at this stage that it is premature for them to give up. Meanwhile, Salamat Omar, whose son was on board flight MH370, pleaded to the Prime Minister to try his best to continue the search. Kalau keadaan uh, tidak berusaha untuk mencari uh, sampai jumpa, memanglah saya akan pilih kita. Walau bagaimanapun, saya sebagai wali memang mengharapkan yang amat berhormat Perdana Menteri selaku Menteri Keuangan, Dato' Sri Najib dapat memikirkan sesuatu jika keuangan kerajaan mengizinkan. Ya? Jadi, uh, selagi kita tak, kita tak temui sebarang bukti, Ianya akan menyemat derita lah pada diri saya. Selepas kejadian tu sekarang dah beberapa tahun dah berlalu kan, macam mana keadaan keluarga dan keadaan Encik sendiri? Ya, eh, keadaan saya memanglah ada masanya okey, ada masa tak okey. Bila ingat tu tak okey lah sebab uh, uh, atas kehilangan ni memang luar biasa. Uh, sebab kalau orang aksiden dan sebagainya, kita dapat temui jenazah dia. Tapi saya tak ada. Jadi saya nak buat sesuatu agak uh, terbatas. Contoh, kalau hanya saya boleh buat doa selamat sahaja. Ya? Pada semua layak dan pendengar, saya memang mengharapkan doa daripada mereka supaya... Uh, Bakai pesawat atau rangka pesawat ni dapat kita temui uh, uh, termasuklah para penumpang uh, dapat kita buktikan bahawa mereka telah berkorban dan sebagainya. Of the 239 people on board, 62 were Malaysians. 
A move by a logging company to break down the orang asli blockade in Gua Musang by claiming it has rights to land in Kelantan's Bala Forest Reserve was rejected by the magistrate's court. The court found that uh, the uh, the orang asli are the one in actual possession of the subject matter, which is the land. Okay, and therefore uh, the application by the pemohon that the company is rejected. That's it. The meaning of actual possession is that you must be in control uh, of the area, meaning that you have to live there, you have to be there. It's not only when uh, so. You know, only and as and when you have the license, then you have the right to be there. But the ones who have been there, you know, they are living there. In September last year, hundreds of orang asli put up blockades near Gua Musang to defend their land against loggers and the state government. They claim to have been living there for thousands of years and were fed up with logging that has been going on for decades. City said the firm was trying to use Section 99 of the Criminal Procedure Code, which covers land disputes. She, however, added that the Orang Asli are now planning to use that very law to show that the land was indeed theirs. Drivers can expect slower traffic during the Chinese New Year festive period as speed limits for all federal and state roads will be reduced by 10 km per hour from January 21st. In an effort to increase traffic safety, Transport Minister Datuk Sri Liao Tiong Lai said speed limits would be lowered to 80 km per hour for federal roads and 70 km per hour for state roads. According to statistics, over 7,000 fatal road accidents were recorded last year. Statistics ini will remain as statistic and will not have any impact on our community dan masyarakat sekiranya kita tidak mengambil tindakan keras tindakan bersepadu untuk uh, mengurangkan kadar kemalangan jalan ini He added that heavy vehicles would be prohibited from using the highways on certain days during the festive period in the meantime, the suggestion to ban Kap Chai motorcycles from entering the city centre in order to reduce carbon emissions need to be backed by scientific research. Responding to Natural Territories Minister Datuk Sri Tengku Adnan Tengku Mansur's proposal, Natural Resources and Environment Minister Datuk Sri Dr. Wan Junaidi Tuan Ku Jaafar said bikers weren't the biggest cause of pollution. While he agreed in principle that reducing carbon emissions by cutting out private transportation was the way to go, he stressed that proper research must be conducted to determine if such a move would really be the most beneficial to the environment. Dr. Wan Junaidi said his ministry will meet with the Federal Territories Ministry to discuss this further. In a separate development, the Datuk Sri who allegedly assaulted a security guard in Penang over a parking issue was released on police bail on Tuesday. North East District Police Chief ACP Mior Faridala Trash Wahid said the case will be referred to the State Prosecution Unit for further action. The 50-year-old man who owns a beauty products business is believed to be a director of the Penang Chinese Chamber of Commerce. He is alleged to have assaulted a security guard who had clamped his Mercedes Benz at a condominium in Jalutong on Saturday. The victim sustained injuries to his face as a result of the attack. Meanwhile, BN Sungai Air Tawar Assemblyman Kamarul Zaki Abdul Halim passed away in his home at Kampung Sungai Air Tawar in Klang after he suffered a heart attack. The 57-year-old was found lying unconscious by his driver after he failed to come out from his house. Kamarul Zaki was supposed to attend a program at his constituency Tuesday morning. In the last general election, Kamarul Zaki, a retired headmaster, defeated past candidate Wahid Rais with a 1,416 vote majority. He leaves behind wife Rosima Abbas, also a teacher, and four sons.
In other news, Plantation Industries and Commodities Minister Datuk Sri Mah Siu Kiong dismissed a report listing palm oil as a cancer risk, saying that the claims were not true and not proven. He however announced that the Malaysian Palm Oil Board has set up a fund with an initial investment of 30 million ringgit to facilitate further research into the edible oil. Last week, several Italian retailers boycotted Nutella after the European Food Safety Authority linked palm oil consumption, a major ingredient in the chocolate spread, to being cancerous. In response, Ferrero launched an advertising campaign reassuring consumers that palm oil is safe when properly used. Two men escaped with light injuries after they were struck with a lorry that went out of control at a petrol station along the Kuching Samarhan Expressway on Monday evening. According to reports, the lorry driver was filling up the vehicles which suddenly veered to the left and crashed into a parked car, the fuel dispenser, a customer and motorcyclist. The cause of the incident is still being investigated. Turkish police were questioning Tuesday the suspected gunman who slaughtered 39 people on New Year's night at an Istanbul nightclub. Abdul Ghadir Masharipov was found with his four-year-old son at an apartment in the SN Yurt district of Istanbul after a massive police operation. Four other suspects were detained, including three women. An Australian family who went missing at a Japanese ski resort were rescued by local police on Tuesday after sending out a social media SOS. The search was launched for the mother and her three sons after they did not return from skiing on Monday evening at Nozawa Onsen in Nagano Prefecture. The group reportedly dug a hole in the snow to keep warm as the mercury dropped well below zero degrees Celsius. Football players in a Czech town were forced to abandon their game and flee to safety when the roof of a gym collapsed onto them. Footage of the incident showed players and spectators alike running off the floor as the roof slowly starts to cave in. The sports centre in Česká Trebova had been completed earlier this month. Hollywood couple Mila Jovovic and Paul W.S. Anderson attended the premiere of their latest movie collaboration in Taipei. Resident Evil The Final Chapter has already had a successful start in neighbouring countries, including Japan, where it was released earlier this month. The series of science fiction action horror movies is based on the original Capcom video games that also carry the same name with the first film produced in 2002. Killed you in Washington. Yeah, big mistake. That's all we have for Cup of News. Thanks for watching and good night.